Hey there, and welcome to our upper body and abs supersets circuits boost workout. This workout today is going to fly by. It's only 20 minutes. It may be short, but let me just say, it is not going to be sweet, but I know you're gonna kick butt and we're gonna get stronger because of it. So we had a quick overview of the structure of this workout, but for each superset, each superset will either focus on upper body, upper body and abs, or all abs. So we're gonna get right into this workout. Our very first exercise is a hammer curl. So grab your dumbbells for that and let's do this. All right, so getting into position, shoulders roll down and away from your ears, slight bend in your knee. Three, two, one, let's begin. So keep your arms in nice and close. Head is up, shoulders down away from your ears. Keeping your core engaged. And squeeze. So each exercise is gonna go by super fast. Supersets, we go right into that next exercise without taking a break. So that next exercise is going to be a close grip row. So you can use one dumbbell or two. I'm gonna just combine my dumbbells here. Go right into it. Here we go. Good, keeping those dumbbells close together, back flat, core engaged, and squeeze, good. Control the weight up and down. So really taking your time to let that weight come back down. So after this superset, we're gonna get 30 seconds of rest, and then we're gonna work an upper body and abs superset combo. Almost there. And one, oh, amazing. Now you've got 30 seconds and now we are gonna hit the chest muscles. So we're gonna bring it down to the mat for chest press, grab dumbbells for that. We're gonna combine chest press and the pal off press. Ooh. But grab your dumbbells first for chest press. I'm gonna have my second dumbbell ready to go. For that pal off press, you'll just need one dumbbell. Ooh. So that's gonna really work the core. Bring it back, going in three, two, and one. Good, exhale as you lift. And breathe, good. Remember, squeeze those chest muscles. Think about an egg underneath your arm and you are squeezing that. Pal off press is next. We're gonna do it kneeling. You can also do it standing. Almost there. Good, set the dumbbells down, off to the side, right into pal off press. Fingers are crossed around that dumbbell, right into the chest, and we go. Exhale as you press out, keeping those arms close to your body. Good. Really stabilizing the core with this one. Feeling it in the arms, but such an awesome core exercise. Couple more reps. Control the weight in and out. Then we're gonna get a quick recovery. Then we've got an abs superset. Last one. Nice job. Rest it out, 30 seconds. You can set your dumbbells off to the side. No dumbbells for this ab section. I told you, this workout is gonna fly by. So we are gonna work one side and then the other for our abs. Lying it over, we've got a side straight leg crunch. Two, roll it to your back and knee pull, good. Crunch and knee pull. You can take that modification as well. Not lower intensity, but it's gonna modify it just a little bit for you. Good, so side crunch, pull that knee. Rolling it just to your back, just slightly, really hitting the obliques. And squeeze. One more of each and then switch it over right away to the other side. Same thing, bottom leg is bent, arm is out next to you, side and crunch, good. <gasps> Breathe, we're almost there. And crunch. Almost there, one more of each and knee pull, oh, good, rest it out. That was our first circuit. We get to do that all once more through. Bring it back up, going back into that hammer curl. 
So we work through each circuit two total times. Bringing it up, we've got just about 10 seconds before that hammer curl. So remember, we'll go hammer curl right into that close grip bent over row. Getting our dumbbells, it's go time. Here we go. Hammer curl. Squeeze, good. We also have a three minute challenge at the end to work it all. One last chance oh, with some compound exercises. Whew. Good, don't forget to breathe. Try not to swing the weights either. You wanna use that bicep muscle to get the weight up. Last one, close grip press, hinge it right over, back flat and we go. And squeeze, good. Push those hips back, slight bend in the knees. Arms stay close to your body. Think about squeezing your shoulder blades around your spine as you bring those dumbbells up to your chest. You're gonna get 30 seconds very soon. Heart rate is getting up on this one because we are working hard. Last one, good, breathe it out. Quick 30 seconds, I'm telling you, it's gonna be flying by. Going back to the ground for the chest press and the kneeling pal-off press. Again, you can always modify that pal-off press by standing. Ooh, we got 15 seconds though, so grab your dumbbells, have them ready and nearby. Since again, supersets, we move quick. Ooh, you are rocking it. Roll it back, we go in three, two, chest press, here we go. And squeeze. Nice. Make sure you're getting those arms straight so you're getting full range of motion all the way down to all the way up. Almost there, we're gonna work it. In five seconds, up to our knees. One, nice. Bring the dumbbells down, set them off to the side, crossing your fingers around the dumbbell into your chest and extend, good. Arms come parallel, hold it out for just a second. Good, arms staying close when you bring it back in. Keep those abs tight, standing or kneeling, you've got your hips tucked under. You don't wanna stick your bum out, make sure the hips tucked under. We're gonna do one more and then we're gonna get a recovery. Nice. Set your weight down off to the side. No dumbbell for our next move, which is the side crunch. Roll it over to your back. Knee pull. All right, bring it down. Bottom leg bent, arm is out. Going in three, two, and one. Here we go, side crunch. Roll it back, knee pull. Side crunch. Oof. Awesome. So as you bring that crunch in, really think about squeezing those oblique muscles. We're just gonna switch side next. One more each. Oh, good, switch it right over. That move is quick. Here we go. Whew. Good, squeeze. Almost there. Last one. Oh, oh. good. 30 seconds, breathe it out, dry off if you need to, grab a drink and enjoy your break. We are getting ready to move on to circuit two. So it's going to be that same structure where we have two supersets for the upper body, one upper body and abs and one that is abs. We're gonna work through that circuit two times through, same structure. We begin in 30 seconds again. We're gonna bring it standing. We're gonna hit the shoulders for a bent arm side lateral raise. So you're gonna keep those arms at a 90 degree bend as you lift and lower your dumbbells. 
from there, we're gonna go right into an Arnold press. So you might wanna grab your dumbbells, have them nearby for both of those exercises. But getting ready to go, side lateral raise. Let's begin. So again, arms just parallel to the floor. Control it up, control it down nice and slow. And breathe, good. Exhale as you lift. Make sure as you bring your shoulders up that your, sh or make sure as you bring your arms up, your shoulders aren't coming up to your ears. You wanna keep those down and away. Last one, right into Arnold press. If you're switching dumbbells, let's begin. Good. And press. And exhale, good. Almost there. Just about 10 seconds now. You're gonna get that 30 seconds of break. Last one. Whew. And control it down. Nice job. Set your dumbbells off to the side. We will not need our dumbbells for these next two exercises. We will bring it to the ground. We're gonna go into a tricep push-up. You can do that on your toes or knees. If you're working to get your push-ups on your toes, try a couple on your toes and then modify down to your knees when you need to. Then we're gonna do an alternating forearm walk plank. But let's get into position. Tricep push-ups, we go in three, two, and one. Here we go. Drive those elbows to the wall behind you. Arms are in nice and close. Keeping your body strong and straight. Breathing, almost there. Last one. Good, so bringing up into plank, we're gonna walk one arm down to the forearm and back up. Down and up, good. So that other arm gets a slight bend as you drop down to your forearm. This is a tough move right here. So it's, more, it's a, about a half plank walk. If you remember the plank walks we've done before. One more, you're gonna get 30. Nice, breathe it out. Time is gonna go by fast. We are working abs next. We have a full body crunch. When we do that full body crunch, I want you to get your hips up just a little bit from the floor. Bring your elbows to your knees. Then we're gonna do a double dead bug. You can modify that if you need to though. Rolling it onto your back, full body crunch. Here we go. Exhale with the lift, get those hips up. Good. So just a little bit, your bum comes off the ground, just a few inches up. We're gonna go right into the double dead pug, double dead pug, <laughs> double dead pug, or you can take that modification, but let's begin. Keep that low back pressed into the mat as you lower your legs. Oh, the abs are, the abs are feeling toasty. That is for sure. Almost there. Last one. Oh, amazing. All right, enjoy your break. It's gonna go by quick. We're gonna bring it back up to hit the shoulders for that side, bent arm side lateral raise. We go through those exercises once more. So go heavy, go hard. That Arnold press is next after the side lateral raise. So get your dumbbells for both. If you are adjusting in between, we go in three, in two, and one. Here we go. Shoulders down away from your ears. Good. Control it up. 
control it down. This really targets that rounded area of your shoulder. So if you're working to build that muscle, define those shoulders. This is an awesome exercise to do that. Last one, then we go into Arnold press. Adjust dumbbells if you need. Let's go. Exhale as you press. Whew, nice job. Just about 15 seconds, then we get a break. Work time is short, rest time is short. But you're rocking it. Almost there. Last one, and then no dumbbells for these next couple of exercises. Awesome. So those next exercises we have are the tricep push-up and the plank forearm walk. So grab a drink, dry off. You've got about 10 seconds and we go. Get into position for tricep push-ups. Again, try to get a few on your toes if you can. Then let's begin. Elbows drive back to the wall behind you. Feel the shake. Oh, oh, oh. I think I said we were gonna bo boost the burn, right? We are burning. That forearm plank walk is coming up next. Last one. All right, right into plank. Shoulders, elbows, wrists in line. Walk it to your forearm and up. Let that other arm get a little bend as you come down and up. Good, keep your body strong and straight. You can always modify this on your knees as well. Last time for this exercise, make it count. One more. Oh, amazing. Oh my goodness. We are going into our last super set before our three minute challenge. Breathe it out. We're working the abs again. We've got that full body crunch with the little hip lift. That little hip lift adds a big burn, followed by the double dead bug. Roll it onto your back. We go in five seconds. Hands behind your head. Here we go. Hands just gently behind your head. Your hands are just there for support. They are not here to crunch your neck. Good. Exhale with you with the lift. Remember double dead bug next or take that modification. Here's three, two, and one. Legs out, arms up, and we begin. Slow and controlled. Don't try to work for reps on this one. I want you to work for form. Remember, keep that low back pressed into the mat. If you feel your low back arching, stop your legs. Last one. And up. Okay. Breathe it out. We've got a quick break before we go into that three minute challenge. Push. So for that three minute challenge push, we're gonna be working no rest in between for the three minutes for the three variations of exercises that we have. So we're gonna bring it up because we've got 30 seconds and I wanna just go over this first exercise with you. I'm gonna go over the, the three exercises so you know what we have coming. First exercise is gonna be a double bicep curl into a double overhead press into a double overhead tricep extension. Then back, double shoulder press, down, double bicep curl, and repeat. Then we have a push up into a renegade row. You can take a modification using no dumbbells and on your knees if you need to do that. I'm gonna challenge you to push wherever you need to. Finally, we're gonna do a plank hold with a rock. So grab your dumbbells. We've got one minute here. Bicep curl, press, and overhead tricep extension. Here we go. So we, got, we have got two curls, two, press it up, one, 
two, keep them up, overhead tricep extension, two, back shoulder press, one, two, down, bicep curls, one, two. You got the hang of it now. Elbows tucked in. So just working through this, all the way down, all the way up, full range of motion for each exercise though. Awesome. You're almost there. Told you, compound moves for these last three minute finishers. Finish this one up strong. Back to that bicep curl. And then renegade row with the push up. Nice job. Bring it right, right down. Here we go. Oh, the arms are shaking so bad. Ooh, good. With that renegade row, make sure your feet and knees are out at a wider position. So you don't want them just right next to each other. You want to take a wider stance. Elbows still going back. Arm close to your side with that renegade row. Not letting your shoulders open. Breathe, good. We're almost there. I'm gonna try to get a few more in on my toes. Nope, I'm not. Oh my goodness, it's the arms. We rocked the upper body, oh so good. Almost there for that plank hold. Last one, down renegade row. Come on, squeeze, set the dumbbells off to the side, get right into plank position. You can hold this on your knees. Modification, hold it. I want you to get good form first. Hold it, shoulders, elbows, wrists in line. Now I want you to rock it. If you got a little rock in you, go ahead and add it in. Just pushing forward on those toes a little bit. You're gonna feel this in the shoulders. You're gonna feel it in the core. Come on, keep it strong. I don't, we have not held a one minute plank in quite some time. Good, little rocks, little rocks. Woo, arms on fire. Ten seconds, ten. Almost there, here's three, two, and one. Okay, I seriously cannot move my arms. I don't know how you're feeling with your arms right now, <laughs> but I'm gonna sit like this. You are gonna love a stretch after this, I can guarantee it. So do not forget, grab the stretch over there. It's somewhere up there, I just, my arms are shaking so bad. I will see you for the stretch. I love you so much, thanks for pushing with me. That's what you got.